You do well to serve the Legion. Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Where to, partner? The foundation is laid. Outside you, they... They are, shall we say. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If... If not, then I want... Use ex... Any progress... Is it really so hard not to win? It's a violation of their contract. What of it? I enjoy them. If you run across any out in... It was a place... By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the platinum chip had arrived a day sooner. The Platinum Chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then, the world had ended. 
The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. I'll expect... Trespassers. 